Aries, Ram Gang, welcome to the channel. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Midheaven, Venus, Jupiter placements, but understand we're comprised of all 12 signs. And so if you've clicked on this video, there was no coincidence in you doing so. So welcome, and I hope that you hear all that you need. Um, again, it may not be related to the placements that I already spoke of. It may be about your Mars or your Mercury um, or your Vertex, your P of Fortune, and what may happen there, how you may happen to come upon money or your career and what those things look like, okay? So just keep that in mind. Um, as I've made all the other signs aware, I have been gone this past week, but for a good reason. I was sick and I had to tap out the game for a minute because I was on medication that made me nauseous. So even if I wanted to, I couldn't record these videos. And believe me, that's all I wanted to do. Anytime I get sick or anything like that, whatever pulls me away from me being able to be here for the collective, I get just super sad and I start ruminating and it's all I can think about. I'm just like, the people need me. But I have to remember to take care of myself too, right? It's only fair. So yeah, let's get into... What? Let's get into this reading. The what the actual fuck spread. The ultimate energy you guys have is the Ace of Cups. Messages of love. Or you guys are opening yourself back up. You feel like it is safe for you to love at this time. And so now you may be trying to call in your soulmate. My God, your soulmate, right? Somebody from past life that may still have a soul tie to you. So I feel like you're definitely looking at that because the cruise that hounds you, you have the judgment and what's real about the situation, you guys have the devil card. Definitely somebody that has a soul connection to you. But if not, this is just an opportunity of love that may be coming in to test this past cycle that you just have gotten yourself out of, okay? And you need to be definitive about the type of love that you want, the type of love that you feel that you deserve for all that you have to give. A lot of people like to assume that Aries are just so hardcore, you know, and are the strong ones. And the way that we flirt is by like punching somebody in the arm, you know what I'm saying? It's more so like an aggressive type of love and that couldn't be further from the truth. We are very soft and very sweet and very loving and very romantic. I don't feel like we are as extreme as like Pisceans are with romance, but we wouldn't mind doing those public displays of affection, like buying those rose petals and making that trail and running somebody a hot bath, you know what I'm saying, or cooking somebody their favorite meal. We're considerate lovers, and I feel like a lot of people overlook that about us. But for, again, all that you can give out, um, what type of love are you calling into your life? So you need to get serious about that because with the devil card that's here, it can be a Capricorn that you may have a connection to, like a soulmate, or this can just be like you having to um, have discipline if somebody from the past comes back trying to offer love, okay? And are you going to feed into your carnal desires in that nature, right? And feed into the temptation of the love offer from a past individual or are you going to show restraint and really stand firm and hold on to your boundaries and hold on to the standards that you set for the type of love that you want my god a lot of heavy hitters okay what's wrong about the situation you have the moon card so maybe your own moon placement you might have moon and cancer pisces or scorpio um, and it can be very deceptive, especially if you've been having a lot of dreams, if not daydreaming. Just again, be careful of what it is that you're allowing yourself to think about or ruminate on. But I feel like some things are coming through in your dream state. And so you're going to have to decipher b between what's real or not. You know, what is fantasy and what reality is right now for you. Um, because it, there can be a lot of self-deception that's going on right now. Or just your subconscious and the things that you've tried to repress in your subconscious about somebody that you may have loved at one point in your life, right? Trying to deny the fact that you ever even loved them. And we can tend to do that because we can become 
prideful when our feelings get hurt you know what i'm saying if a love or romantic relationship does not work out and then we try to have this air of disgust and try to act like we never even knew the person you know what i'm saying i know i already know because western astrology i'm an aries sun i know how we get we will ignore you and act like it never even happened but you can't do that because then it's going to again lay beneath the surface and lay in your subconscious and then you'll be having dreams about things and feeling like it's signs from the universe that you're meant to be with this person or something else is meant to happen but that might not necessarily be the case it's just the fact that you deny the fact that you had any feelings for this person and so you're going to have to review that okay you're going to have to accept that you may have to profess that you know and just let it out and just sit with it and cry if you need to Libras had the Ace of Cups in the exact same position, but Pisces also had the Ace of Cups come in their final outcome. So you can have those placements that are like in opposition right now with each other, if not dealing with one of those signs, okay? Where you need more information, you have the Empress energy. And then final outcome for you guys, you have the Queen of Wands, our energy here. Bottom of the deck is the Two of Coins. Somebody's making a decision about love. Somebody's making a, de a decision about um, whether or not they want to give it another shot with this judgment energy. But the judgment card is really just a call for you to, I don't know how I can try to word that, to pretty much make amends with your past. Because I feel like by holding on to this love, but it's the Ace of Cups. So it's like a teaspoon of love. Like, this is all the person could give you. Is that really what you want? You know what I'm saying? You're capable of holding so much more. You're capable of receiving so much more. A full cup of love. You know what I'm saying? The Ace of Cups isn't going to get you very far because it's just like initiative energy. Like, oh, I think I like this person. But there is no real guidance for it, you know? So... If somebody's coming back, all they're coming back with is the ace. All they can say is that they like you. All they can say is that they may love you or they may have love for you. Um, but if not entrapped by other circumstances in their own life, it's just you always feed into that little thing because it just it gives you hope. And then you want to afford the benefit of the doubt like, okay, maybe this time will be different with this devil energy so you have to set yourself free of that right for some of you guys it's like you just can't escape this person no matter how hard you may try so where you need more information with this empress energy just being honest okay being honest stop playing games right and in this deck the empress is the number three and though this is taurus's card um and Taurus is ruled by Mercury? Yes. No. Taurus is ruled by Venus. Okay. Though that is the case, the number three, on a numerological standpoint, speaks to Gemini's house. And Gemini's are all about intellectuality. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know if that is a word, but we're going to say it is. But the Geminis are one of the intellectuals, okay? They piece everything together by taking bits and pieces of everything from everybody's culture, conversations, just with people and understanding the nature of humanity. You know what I'm saying? As a whole, they really understand duality. They see the good and good and the good and bad. Um, so they are pretty neutral as far as thought is concerned. They can play devil's advocate a lot. But Gemini's also, they rule the mind. And so it can be a lot of mind games. Are you playing mind games with yourself? That might be where, again, you may need more information. Are you doing this to yourself by repressing these things that you're feeling, by repressing what your truth is here with this Empress energy? But also where you need more information, you just need to get back in touch with your sensuality. You need to get back in touch with um, who you are as an individual here and your identity here. Okay? And again, what your standards are here. And just the beauty of life. 
all together. And some things may not have worked out, but for a greater good. There, there is a purpose for all the things that you may have gone through, okay? So you can't continue to deny that they've ever happened because they'll never go anywhere. So for some of you guys, this is all your own doing. Like these exes that still exist around you in your external environment, you don't really want to let them go. But you're not, it's not because you actually want them. It's just because of the fact that like Judas, you're trying to deny them. Like you're trying to deny that it ever existed. Okay, best case scenario, you have the Queen of Wands. Vitality, your vitality is back or it will increase. You will be feeling more optimistic. You will be feeling more passionate. You will be feeling hot, literally, if you're getting in touch with your sensuality and your sexuality and embracing your beauty. Um, that makes you more of a magnetic individual. So I feel like a lot of people will naturally be more attracted to you than usual like that's coming up for you guys heavy right there's just something about you that is undeniable is what i'm hearing and maybe that's why for some of you guys the, those cords still exist those people are still trying to come back into your life you're just really magnetic you're really magnetic you do things that nobody else has ever done like you you can't be compared you are unique Okay, so you have to understand just how unique you are, just how valuable you are. But that doesn't mean to just go out and just, you know, just give all willy-nilly to anybody that comes into your life. I feel like with a lot of these love romantic relationships that you're having to kind of revise and go through and really pick through the patterns of to see where you went wrong so that you can do better and have better, you're understanding now just how much you have to really hone in on the energy and just how more i don't want to say picky but just how much more picky you have to be okay with choosing partners and choosing people that can match your energy here with the queen of wands energy if love hasn't been working and you know that with the ace of cups and the judgment energy turn your energy into something and transmute it into something that's going to be working for you focus on other areas of your life that you want to improve upon right while keeping your heart chakra open though okay but focus on your work and, and your wealth and your your material possessions without being vain right and holding those and regarding them as idols those things as idols okay because we can't take any of these things with us when we die but just have more an appreciation for life and get out um, and go out a little bit more involve yourself a little bit more and immerse yourself in nature and experiences I feel like some of you guys don't go outside at all um, You've become recluses here with the moon energy and you think about crabs and how they retract back into their shell um, Especially if they feel like they are being threatened So I feel like for some of you guys love is threatening just your external environment right now. It feels threatening um, you're just very distrustful of a lot of things that are happening right now um, and so you're wanting to recede um, back into yourself but I challenge you to actually do the opposite but for some of you guys with this Empress and it being the three and Gemini's are ruled by Mercury and that's all about communication there's a conversation that needs to be had um, there may be closure because the, the moon is a cycle right it's circular it connects um, you may need to find some closure. That's why you can't get this person out of your mind or you guys you feel like you guys are Can't get away from each other because every time that the situation does not work out There is never that sense of closure. You guys don't have that sense of forgiveness or understanding about what's happened or why you guys were even brought together meant to meet in the first place if you don't see yourself being with this person, okay at the end of the day and for some of you, it's multiple people. It's a couple of people that you haven't had the opportunity to do this with. So this Queen of Wands, then just be careful that um, you don't come with an attitude or you don't come, that you handle it with grace. Because the Queen of Wands, she is very graceful here. Okay? So just remember that if somebody comes back and they want to have like a, a conversation, just handle it with grace. 
I feel like they see you in a very different light, whoever could be coming in to potentially have a conversation with you. If this resonated, give me a thumbs up, share this with your friends and family, subscribe for more, and definitely book a reading with me if you need the extended reading and you want to go a little bit deeper. 